Hey, it's been a while since my last update, so I just kind of wanted to uh, give a status of where I'm at with the various projects on the car. Uh, not a lot to show for the work that's gone in, um, but a lot of work has gone in. So let's take a look. The first project that is uh, kind of on my radar here is the sunroof. So a lot of effort has gone into trying to make that sunroof slide square in that track and close all the way and lift in the back. And all of those continue to be challenges. So I'm going to continue to work on that. Uh, all the slides are new. It's been lubed up. New seals. In fact, the whole track area has been cleaned out. It's been painted. Um, everything. So it is. it should slide with no problem. So again, I think just a little more... Uh, working there and, and thinking about what I'm doing rather than trying to manhandle and force that sunroof and uh, I think it'll go in fine. So the next thing is this headliner. I started in on the black headliner so it's uh, just draped up there. Of course I need to glue it in and um, I guess my obstacle here is just cutting it. You know after buying this I'm a little nervous about uh, trimming it up but I need to just suck it up and do it. And uh, once I trim it and glue the sunroof edge in, then the rest of it should uh, fall in accordingly. And I can pull the back tight uh, once I start to put that uh, back window in. That leads us to the next major obstacle, the windows. So I did buy a new windshield. My old one cracked when I tried to, uh, to tap it out. And um, so I bought this new one. It is aftermarket, obviously, with the... Uh, with the tenting on it, so I like the tent. I actually wanted this. Uh, my concern is fitment. A lot of the forums say the aftermarket windshields don't fit quite right. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not too terribly worried about it. I do have new seals, of course. That was the whole purpose for taking those out because the old ones were, were cracked horribly. Um, so to get the seals, of course, we need uh, the window trim. I butchered the old trim so I had to buy uh, trim from somebody else, a private party. It was used, and it's off at the polishers right now. And once I get that back, I can put the windshield in. I can tighten up the back of that uh, headliner. I can put the back window in. And then with the headliner complete and the windows in, reassembly of this car should go very quick. Got a lot of Palomino uh, parts to, to cover or to make. I'll probably go ahead and roll the car with Palomino in it because I do want a fair amount of carbon in it. Kick panels, the underside of the dash, uh, the actual tray up top, and um, maybe even the A pillars I'd like to uh, make carbon fiber parts for. Of course I gotta make molds for those. I gotta fix up my old parts to make molds. But that'll be a time consuming process. I still plan on driving this car um, with or without those. Meaning, if I have to roll with a Palomino uh, partial interior, I will do that. So the next thing, if you haven't noticed, are the slides there for the seat. These are Corbo slides. I got the double locking slides. They fit like a glove. It's hard to imagine a uh, racing seat company making slides for a 123 chassis Mercedes, but they do. And they fit perfectly. Very strong. Uh, they also have the seat belt uh, eye there, if you can't see it, eyelet. And um, that leads us to another thing. I've ordered uh, replacement belts for the front from Seatbelt Planet. Of course, um, 123 seat belts aren't big from the, uh, the aftermarket. So they're going to take my retractors and they're going to put new webbing in it and totally rebuild it with a cut, but a, a, a new latch mechanism. So I'll have a new latch, rebuilt retractor, and new webbing. Uh, the front seat belts were a concern in this car. Once in a while, they, the latch would just pop out, and um, I can't have that. I don't want to risk my kids with that. So it's worth it just to spend the money, which is painful because I'm surprised <laughs> how expensive that is when you can't just go to Summit and buy a Camaro. You know, you go buy a Camaro or a Mustang seat belt. It's dirt cheap. You wanted something custom, you pay for it. So, But safety um, is important, so we're doing that. Now one thing I didn't mention when I did the floor before is I actually built the nut plate in here for this shifter. So now I can shake this whole car uh, by this shifter. And um, before it was only bolted in with the, the two bolts on the, the driver's side because it was made up perfectly fine. But uh, now I have the, the passenger side bolts 
in with that uh, new nut plate and it is rock solid. So I started putting the, uh, the interior, not really the interior, but some of the uh, sub-assemblies in like the pedals and the, uh, the hood release mechanism. So again, once, once we get rolling with the windows, the sunroof and the headline reassembly of this interior will go very quick. I'm, I'm still out to lunch on what I'm going to do for seat material. I don't know if I'm going cloth or leather. I think the suede is out. That just doesn't do it for me. But I need a wide version, and there is no leather wide. It's a custom seat. So I need to think about that and what the real benefit is. All of our cars are leather, except this one, if we go with the cloth option. And, and I love leather. So it's easy to clean up, especially with kids. And um, so that's something I'm considering. But long status, not a lot to show for it, but a lot of projects. And this headliner, once it goes in, it'll go quick. Thanks for watching.